Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Humble here bringing you a brand new upload and today we're going to be going over should you switch to keyboard and mouse in season 6 chapter 2. I'm going to be going in depth into the meta changes and everything you guys should expect if you were thinking about switching and if I think it is a good idea or not. We'll be going over the pros and cons list so just make sure you guys drop a sub with the noties on if you do want to enjoy this video. If I do bring you some value here if you are contemplating the switch or you're a few weeks in and just not sure what to do with it. Also guys, we just hit 60,000 subscribers so thank you so much. So much for that road to 100k humbo let's go run it up in the comments also live stream on twitch every morning i'm gonna be streaming arena so y'all can check that out in the description but yeah guys without further ado let's get in this video should you switch keyboard and mouse in season six let's go baby let's go all right guys so the first major meta change that we're going to be getting into today is going to be a pro for keyboard and mouse this is something that is definitely going to favor kbm all day and you guys may already know what it is but that is a lack of rotation as you guys know, Fortnite has taken out like literally everything and it can be pretty annoying. I am noticing that I'm dying to storm a lot more just right off the rip. You almost can't take fights in the arena outside of like storm. Like you have to rotate early if you want to stay alive because if you get tied up in a fight, it's really hard to rotate. Some of the animals leave like, you know, meat, which you can get some sort of like health from white health, but it's not enough, right? You're still dying to storm a lot. You need to rotate early. But what I'm more talking about here is the fact that you're going to need to tunnel very efficiently in scrims, competitive, just any type of an end game, even an arena. So it's going to be much more important now that you're mechanically sound in tunneling and getting across rotating that way, especially in trios. If you guys don't have somebody on your team that can tarp efficiently, and now once again, I'm not saying that you cannot tarp on controller or tunnel on controller well, but I'm just saying it's much easier to do so on keyboard and mouse. Especially in a laggy end game, it takes a lot more um, stress on controller to really get those tarps down and confirm those edits on keyboard and mouse you're definitely getting an advantage i'd say maybe 40 percent even 30 percent advantage in tunneling ability and this is going to be super super important end game man or any type of rotation when you're trying to get out of zone you're getting sprayed out or getting held so i definitely have to give the edge here to keyboard and mouse with a low rotation season it's always better to be on keyboard and mouse and you're also going to be as i've talked about in my previous videos a very big asset to a controller trio if two other players are controller and they're looking for a third they definitely need a KBM player, a keyboard and mouse player. So if you're somebody on keyboard and mouse who has decent experience and some okay mechanics, you can definitely get by as a tarper for that team and be an asset. So I got to give the pro to keyboard and mouse there. And now I'm going to come back at you guys with a con, okay? This is something that definitely favors controller in this meta. But like I said, I'm going to balance it out, give you guys both sides of it, and you can decide by the end of this video. I'll also give my own opinion. But so the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the new SMGs in the game. So now we have the TAC SMG back in Fortnite. We also have the Primal SMG, which rips. Also, the P90 can be pulled out of those legendary chests, or you can just find it around. But you have the P90, you have the TAC SMG, you have the Primal SMG, all very, very good options for a spray meta. So what I'm seeing here, guys, is this definitely favors controller, okay? As we all know, controller definitely gets the edge in any type of an SMG fight in a box. If you're 50 50 like that, all day it's got to go to controller for this. But something that I big time recommend if you're trying to switch to keyboard and mouse or you're just trying to become a good fighter on keyboard and mouse is working on your tracking okay you can limit that gap in skill a lot if you guys actually practice an aim duel and aim lab and you're working on that smg tracking because it's going to be really important if you're trying to switch to keyboard and mouse that you are comparable with your smg especially in this meta now this is going to be something that's very difficult and has a very high skill gap for keyboard and mouse right it's not going to be easy to learn at all but I highly recommend you guys put time into this because if you're trying to switch to keyboard and mouse man and you are really bad with an SMG you have no tracking you need to lower your sense and get ready for it because it's gonna be a big part of this season all right guys and now to come right back at you with a nice pro for keyboard and mouse something that is definitely a positive this season and I really like this change is the pumps only hit 189 with the purple pump right so this is taking away a lot of those bailout one pumps you were seeing the last time we had a pump meta and what you saw with that is just so much like rage inducing stuff right you would get somebody really low and they'd one tap you and obviously we all can agree unbiasedly the controller is getting two to three times the amount of one pumps as a keyboard and mouse player is right it's just a lot harder to hit that 200 without aim assist and i'm not hating on either one right i understand why it's like that i'm just explaining like what it is right this is a pro for keyboard and mouse period any way you look at it it's definitely better also in the larger picture now we're not dealing with such a trade-off meta right a 50 
50-50 meta as far as the shotgun pool goes. Okay, when we were dealing with the tack and the lever and the charge, you were in a lot more situations where you were just spamming each other in a box. I looked at it like last season, like you guys know like the red and blue robot and you just spam and then they punch each other and someone's head goes up and then the game's over, right? That's from like the early 2000s. I'm old, okay? That's how I looked at it, right? It seemed very, very just like go for it. It's just like an arcade game. But now with the pump being back in the game, the spaz being back in the game, we are seeing a lot more of that peace control meta, big damage for one shot, like, you know, one big mistake and you're pretty much out of the fight. So what you have there is it's a lot more important to be smart with your peace control and your right hand peaks. It's a lot more of a finesse game, you know what I mean? Even with the primal shotgun being nerfed now, that takes out a lot of that box jumping spam that we were seeing in the first couple days of the season. So now we're really sitting in this meta and it seems like Fortnite is going in this direction where it's a lot more finesse, peace control, one big mistake leads to the fight changing. It's not like you can just recover and spam with attack or something like that. So we are dealing with a completely different meta from last season, and I definitely think this change right here with the shotguns is a big, big pro for keyboard and mouse. It may be the reason why you should switch right now if you're liking what you hear. And now to stay on the topic of big weapon changes in Fortnite this season, we are going to come right back at you with a con for keyboard and mouse, and that is going to be the new system for the Primal AR, the main assault rifle now in the game. Most people are definitely carrying that. It's what you're picking up by far the most, right? Just on floor loot and chests and stuff like that. And the situation with this is no first shot accuracy, an extremely high fire rate and solid damage. And this definitely favors controller, okay? The reason why is because with the no first shot accuracy, which was the, one of the big things for keyboard and mouse, one of the best things you could have aim-wise for keyboard, right? Is you get those really nice tight first shot and it's very easy to control that with your whole wrist and get that perfect accuracy. Now with the removal of that, we're kind of dealing with a spray and pray type of situation with the ARs, the assault rifle. And of course the other assault rifles still have first shot, but you're mainly dealing with the primal AR as far as the loot pool in the game right now. So what you're having is these really crazy kind of glitchy spams with the controller that are just nailing people. And then you kind of have that with keyboard and mouse, but I would just say it is definitely less effective. There's no first shot, so both are going to be pretty inaccurate as far as your lining up of the shot, but controller is definitely going to take over and assist a lot more with taking that big first shot damage. You know, when you don't see somebody, you're getting a sneak shot in. Now the way to counteract this and do good on keyboard and mouse is to make sure you were getting close before before you shoot. You have to be really smart now this season about sneaking up on people methodically, doing three, two, one countdowns if you're playing duos or trios. You really gotta get close and make sure you take advantage of those first couple shots because when you're spraying, if you're close, you can still get that tight shot accuracy and really apply some damage. But overall, I would have to say that these ARs, the new AR meta, definitely conforms more to a controller type of situation, so I gotta give it to controller for the ARs. All right guys, and to give one more major pro for switching to keyboard and mouse this season, it's going to be the simple fact that so much has changed this season. There's so many different guns and a lot of different things that people are going to have to learn to catch back up to that skill gap. And that's going to give you guys some time to get some really good practice in and kind of learn these weapons along with all of the other players who are more seasoned on their inputs. Basically what I'm saying is it's a good time to get in and start putting in practice, right? This is a really nice time because not everybody's adjusted to the meta, not everybody's very, very good with all of the guns yet. And you can definitely get some time to learn as you go and kind of learn with everybody else on how to use these new guns and have no rotation and how to play with all of those different situations. It's always a good thing whenever a meta resets because it gives everybody a nice reset and a nice chance to make a comeback and really move their skill level up a couple brackets from where they once were. If the meta stays way too similar, this is always going to favor whatever you're used to or the simplest form of, you know, the inputs like a controller or whatever. Whenever you adjust the inputs, you are giving everybody a chance to make big jumps on a new input for themselves. So I definitely give a big pro anytime there's a new season change that's very drastic to keyboard and mouse always if you want to make that big jump, man, that big switch. But all in all, guys, like I said, it is completely up to you and however you're feeling. I'm just here to give you guys the input information and you can decide if you are ready to make that switch or stay with your transition if you're currently a couple weeks in, a couple months in, whatever it is. I really wish you guys the best 
best of luck. And I promise you with the proper work, you guys can go as far as you want with keyboard and mouse and you can really reach that high goal you set for yourself. As long as you're putting in that daily practice and daily work, all the other details will fall into place. You don't really have to overthink it. It's always a good time to switch. It's very refreshing. It's always very fun and a nice challenge if you guys want to really, you know, freshen up this game because it's been out for a few years. I know a lot of you guys are looking for that new challenge, that new thing to take on and keyboard and mouse is always a great option. But with that guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. Just make sure I'll drop a sub with the noties on hashtag 100k humbo. We're on a road to 100,000 subscribers that YouTube plaque been a dream of mine since I was a kid. So it would be in the absolute world if y'all dropped a sub, a like, a comment if you did go on to this video. Peace. Love y'all, man. Peace out.